Hi, this is Deanne from Rainbow Resource Center. Today, I want to introduce you to a Reason for Science curriculum published by A Reason For, who has also given us the popular A Reason for Handwriting and A Reason for Spelling programs. A Reason for Science is an inquiry-based, multi-sensory science program for grades one through eight and is written from a Christian perspective. Lessons are interactive with visual demonstrations and diagrams. There are worksheets to analyze the activity, scripture object lessons, and journaling exercises. The course was originally created for Christian schools, but it is easily modified for home schools and co-ops. Field trip and guest speaker ideas are throughout, adding an additional layer of interactive learning in the lower levels. Intrigued by this program? I must say, as a nurse who hated science in school, only to fall in love with it as I homeschooled my own children, I love the interactive discovery focus of this program. I also greatly appreciate the flexibility of the grade level text for multi-level learning. Levels A and B are targeting first and second grade, but they're designed to be interchangeable during the first years of formal science instruction. Also, your levels C through H, which cover grades three through eight, can be easily adapted to accommodate multi-grade classes. Let's spend a few minutes talking about the program components. The teacher guide is vital for the program and provides an overview of teaching science through hands-on activities and meaningful directed instruction. Families and teachers will appreciate the author's efforts to provide easy to understand language, concrete hands-on activities, teacher to teacher expanded explanations, and other helps that give you the confidence to teach science. Beginning with a brief introduction and a list of national science education standards met, the teacher guide provides teaching information, extension activities, supply lists, safety considerations, reduced student pages, workbook answers, and assessments with answers. Blackline masters are also included and reproducible for classroom use. Consumable student workbooks are colorful with the fun illustrations one has come to expect from the other reason for books. Worksheets have ample writing space, and the lower levels, A and B, offer lines with a center dotted line to help our young writers. The materials kit, available in the packs only, is a sturdy plastic case that includes the essential supplies for the 36 weekly experiments. You will also need to provide common household items. The complete list of included kit contents and needed household items is available on our website. The kit contains enough supplies for a team of up to five students. Packs include the teacher guide, student workbook, and the materials kit. Worth mentioning, this complete materials kit is not available separately. But there are refill kits available, and these include the consumable components of the material kit for additional students. Each level teaches life science, earth science, and physical science. Creationism, the belief that God created all things, is foundational to the program although the authors do not teach from a specific viewpoint about the age of the earth or the how God created. Schools and families are encouraged to have a clear position on this topic to teach their own children. I would love to show you an overview of lessons from the upper and lower levels. The graphics you're about to see will show you how user-friendly this program is for homeschool families and how the program intentionally engages children in the learning process. Levels A and B are designed for the lower elementary age students roughly that first to second grade. While the program offers teaching flexibility, the weekly lessons in the lower levels are presented in a specific daily format, engage, inform, explore, expand, and assess. Let's look at lesson eight of level A to see how these steps are integrated into the lesson. Opening lesson eight, we see national standards listed, the focus of the lesson, the objective, and the following teaching instructions. Read the overview aloud to your students. Quote, every creature has a special type of home called a habitat. A creature's habitat must meet its unique needs. For instance, different types of birds build different kinds of nests to help create their special habitats. Day one is the engage lesson, and although it instructs you to seat students in research groups, homeschoolers can easily do this with siblings or with the parent. The teacher guide then provides some scripting, your teacher to teacher note with expanded explanations, and additional teaching options, along with those reduced student page or pages for the week. The student page includes the lesson focus and objective and instructions for the page. For example, in this lesson, observe, look at your home, think about how it was made. Now look at the bird's nest on page 54. Think about how each of these nests were made. Children are then given simple questions to answer. Notice how the answers are written in dotted lines for the child to trace. Day two is the informed lesson. 
you will notice the Reduce Student page at the top of the teacher guide. The student page includes a story that you're to read with your child. On the right side of the page are the teaching suggestions, the helpful information, including a field trip activity and guest speaker idea. At the bottom of the page are the ideas for extended teaching. In our sample level A, the language is simplified and easily understood by young learners. If you're teaching different ages or skill levels, the suggested extension activities are an excellent opportunity to go deeper. At the conclusion of the informed lesson are discussion questions and space to write these answers. Depending on the child's writing skills, oral or written answers would be completely acceptable. Day three is the explored lesson called Expand at the top of the teacher guide page. The teacher guide provides the reduced student page, the materials list, safety concerns, and the activity instructions. It also includes the what happened explanation to read with the student. For this hands-on activity, the materials kit includes the wax paper, the yarn, the bowl, plastic eggs, toothpicks, feathers, flour, and a spoon. But on page 56 of the student workbook, you will find those step-by-step -step full color instructions for the child to do the activity. The lesson is completed after children share their observations. Day four is your expand lesson. On the expand day, students will orally review what they learned in the explore lesson and answer those higher level cognitive questions that explain, compare, and predict. Suggested answers to these questions are included in your teacher guide, along with those reduced student pages. Day five is our assess lesson. Assessments are easily modified to meet the reading and writing needs of children. For this lesson, you can choose to have the student complete page 58 in the student book, which is a color and write the habitat name on the lines activity, or have the child complete the test found on page 68 of the teacher guide. This test is reproducible. These tests could also be completed orally if needed. The final day also includes the scripture object lesson called Food for Thought, which has a Bible verse reference to read using the Bible version of your choice. Object lessons are focused and designed to connect basic science principles to scriptural truth. In the upper levels, those C through H levels, the lessons have built-in flexibility for scheduling your science class and for teaching multiple ages. The teacher guide provides guidance to complete lessons without giving a specific daily assignment. This may seem overwhelming at first, but the lesson formats are the same throughout, and once you get comfortable with the style, you will be a natural. The course is set up to complete one lesson per week, and each lesson takes one to two hours. Lessons begin with an experiment or activity, which are then followed by worksheets. Lessons are created to prevent students from getting bogged down with dry factual readings. Let's take a look at lesson three from level D, the fourth grade course. On page 25 of the teacher guide, you will see a reduced partial student page followed by the overview. In the margin, you will notice the following areas identified category, focus, national standards, necessary materials, with the items found in the materials kit listed in bold, and the safety concerns. The overview directs you to read the lesson introduction. Quote, it is starting to rain. Notice the ducks and geese don't seem to mind at all. Why don't they get soaked to the skin like we do? Let's explore what water off a duck's back really means, end quote. With curiosity piqued, students complete the hands-on activity. The student workbook provides colorful step-by-step -step instructions for completing the activity. Since the activities are meant to be student-driven and inquiry-based, the teacher's role is to observe students completing the activities. Your teacher guide provides a teacher-teacher note with the explanations for the activity. At the conclusion of the activity, a what happened guided discussion follows with the student completing a what we learned worksheet. The teacher guide provides reduced student pages with answers. At the end of the lessons, there is a conclusion to read aloud with your student. This is also a great time to answer any questions they may have. The Food for Thought Scripture Object Lesson is also found here. Object lessons can be completed using a Bible version of your choice. You will also notice the student book has space for the student to journal additional thoughts about the lesson. Students may free write or draw experiments or diagrams, essentially anything that will help them recall the activity. Although it's located at the end of this lesson, I think most students find it helpful to use the journaling space as they complete the lesson activity. Personally, I love how the lessons are flexible and easily modified to fit your individual family schedule. 
While there's no specific time frame to complete the lessons, most will find that the full lesson can be completed in one to two hours, which lends itself well to weekly homeschool co-op lessons or for families who find it difficult to do a daily science program. If you're a family that loves science or would like to go deeper, the teacher guide also includes extended teaching activities. For example, make a bulletin board, or you could have your child create a poster or diorama of different kind of waterfowl, discuss their similarities and differences. You will also find weekly assessments, one per lesson in the teacher guide. Assessments contain true and false, as well as multiple choice questions. These are reproducible for classroom use. The answer keys are included. I realize we have covered quite a bit of information today, and I thank you for staying with me. A Reason for Science provides an excellent inquiry-based multi-sensory approach to science. Parents and teachers both will find the support and flexibility they need, while students will be engaged with the hands-on learning, with less of an emphasis on the dry, boring text readings that often suck the life out of science. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions about this or any other program offered at Rainbow Resource Center, please contact the Rainbow Curriculum Consultants at 888-841-3456 or via email at consultants at rainbowresource.com. Thank you.